With little fanfare and a lot of work, the Rogue River ran freely last week for the first time in 89 years. And uh, then after that, it was just simply to excavate out the rest of the pilot channel and the plugs at the top end and let the river go. While they were doing this simultaneously, they were closing the radio gates. So currently, we should have all the flow of the Rogue River coming right behind me now. By noon, the river began to take shape, allowing river runners a chance to test the waters. The privately owned Savage Rapids Dam has always been controversial. It was labeled a fish killer by many because it blocks salmon and steelhead migration. Reclamation has studied fish passage at the dam since the 1970s. A 1995 report cited dam removal and adding a pumping plant as a viable option. Construction manager Don Rosbaugh says removing the dam is just one part of the project. Well, yeah, it's been a three-year project uh, started in October of uh, 2006 uh, with uh, the excavation for the pumping plant. Um, the pumping plant had to be online and working before we started taking the dam out. So it was uh, ready for this last irrigation season and uh, we hit the in-water work period in the middle of June. We began uh, taking out the first six bays on the north side of the river of the dam. Uh, Sladen construction completed that before the end of June and uh, we've uh, waited uh, during the irrigation season to uh, finish up and open up the right sh side of the channel. Had to do that because we didn't want to uh, put any more of this uh, silt down the river in front of the, the uh, intake for the, the uh, pumping plant. And also uh, uh, Chinook salmon was uh, migrating during that time too. Not much uh, is left to do. We uh, yeah, have the dam uh, taken out as far as we're gonna go to the south side. Remaining is to plug the uh, radio gate channels, they get plugged with concrete and riprap and uh, going to knock down the uh, remaining piers on the south side of the dam. And that's pretty much it. It's a, a, a good pumping plant. It's a, it's a dependable way of delivering water to the irrigation district and we're uh, making the migration easier for the salmon. Uh, it's a win-win situation.